So, everyone, uh, as you might see, I've uh, got uh, my lovely colleague uh, Axel next to me. Um, I'm going to take a short break, uh, actually buying some groceries because I just realized that Monday is a public holiday in Germany. And also because uh, characters starting to become blurry while I look at them. Uh, so I think it's a good, good uh, moment to take a break. Um, Axel, the, the, the audience, the people, the lovely Joomla's are yours. Um, do what you can do best. See you later. <laughs> so, th thank you, David. Um, yeah, welcome back to our uh, 24 hours live stream event, uh, Jay and Beyond, um, with the next presentation from uh, Robert, uh, Progressive Web Apps. Uh, why should we use this technique and which possibilities do you have? But before we start, just uh, let me thank our sponsor, Plesk, for making this happen um, and remind you um, to tweet um, about this event with the hashtag uh, JEP20, um, post selfies from you in front of uh, your camera with the um, hashtag JSelfie. And we really appreciate uh, your support um, using our donate button uh, due to some cancellation fees for the uh, live conference in Lisbon. And now let me just uh, hand over to Robert. I think he's ready. And Robert, please uh, start and have fun. Hi, Chap. Hi, Jumlas. Um, today I will talk about Progressive Web App, PWA. Um, why should you use it and which possibilities do you have? To me, I'm Robert uh, from Germany, nearby Stuttgart. My first Joomla website was 2009. I'm a web developer, uh, do some stuff with JavaScript and PHP. And uh, last year, I have a project uh, with a PWA. And I um, also creates a plugin for Joomla called MIT PWA. History. Steve Jobs was introducing the iPhone in 2007 and the idea was he presented uh, the iPhone and browser-based web app. He demonstrated a website. It was cool running on the iPhone. And after this, the developer had the system and we are creating uh, native apps. So Apple launched after this in 2008, the App Store. So mobile web is always increasing. We have more and more apps and websites or responsive. Responsive is no question anymore for websites. And especially in the EU, we have more and more data protection and discussions about uh, spyware and fracking. And a lot of users don't want to install a lot of apps. So we have uh, app installation slugginess. What is a PWA, Progressive Web Application, Progressive for reusable, accessible, and uh, the web 
is similar to it because a progressive web app is a web API and you can use it for all websites. And why do you not benefit from the advantage? What is a PWA from a technical perspective? The main part is the service worker. He stands between device and web server, and he controls all requests. You can use the cache API to cache something. It's not the memory cache from the browser. So you can control all things, control the cache and other things. A progressive web app runs in every browser and <clears throat> you can integrate it in any website. It, you can install it, you do not need to be installed. And a progressive web app is available for search engine because it's uh, no, uh, it's a website and the user has a better data protection as, uh, for example, a uh, native app. Uh, the stati statistics says the conversion rates will be increased and the duration of stay of the user. What you need for a PWA, the website must be secure. It should, it must run on HTTPS and you can only create uh, on the same domain. If you are on a local environment, you can test your PWA or your service worker only with the domain localhost. Where can you style a PWA? It's possible on all operating systems. As you know, Linux, Windows, OS X, and under it on all browsers. On iOS, it works only on Safari to install it. And you have a clear advantage, one app for all operating systems. But this is, this is also a disadvantage because you have to support uh, a feature for different browsers and could be some buggy or not supported. So service worker has a life cycle. It's always the same process. If you call a website, registering, download, installation and after the installation the service worker wait for activating now we see the installation process uh, this is the console of a chrome browser you can open it and on the tab application you will see the service worker. Now you see the first request. And this was the life cycle. And 
here we will see that static files will cache and pages on its images. So we have good short, a short scene uh, about uh, activating. How to update a service worker or PWA? It's possible if you change something in the service worker, then you, the service worker make a new install after this, or you can say, uh, set an interval that will be called uh, every 24 hours. And if you update a service worker, then it's good. Then you clean up some caches or do some other stuff. How to control your PWA? Uh, Lighthouse is a great tool for it. First, you you can um, check it um, also in the Chrome console, but it's also available for Firefox as an um, extension. And here get your recommendations and the main check is here for the manifest file. And if something wrong, you will see a red line and recommendation. If you create a PWA, you have to thinking about uh, the cache strategy, strategy. What will be static files? Uh, will I uh, do network first or offline first? Uh, network first means that you call the website and you get the content uh, directly or over the service worker. So content and in the background will be filled the cache. And that means if you offline, then you can get the cache and see the web page. And if the web page not available or not in the cache, then could you uh, present a different site. Offline first means that you always load the cache and then will update the cache in the second load or, or the update in the cache in the first load but if you call the website again you will see the new content you can also choose the, uh, the strategy of network speeds but uh, you should be careful because that could be different because if you're in a train and the next second you have uh, no internet connection so the so network speed is not every, every time right. Performance. A PWA is, has a good performance due to the cache. You can load uh, directly from the device or personal computer. And another strategy is the app shell strategy. You will only update the content and all other things, the navigation, the footer, or the head is fixed. 
how to check the network um, with navigator connection download link max for example this will be a fast network if you catch something you should always ask for uh, persistent uh, storage because here will be you can sure that the cache is always available for example if a device running out memory and the operating system said okay i need more space and uh, chrome has too much and so something will be deleted thing can could be happen that the offline site not more available always you thinking or should be thinking about measure the cache strategy so app strategy you have something uh, if you uh, have a high cpu app then you could check the battery for example or the performance of the device Uh, the service worker has following opportunities, uh, fast page loading, because you have full control over the cache and requests. Other thing is you could send forms or orders in offline mode. You can save it in the browser via index db or other tools and if the user goes online then automatically send the order or the form out and the user can get a message for it that it's working fine one other possibility is for example that you deliver uh, web p images instead of normal images if the browsers uh, that support it but in this case make sure that the web images web p image on server if you want to uh, storage data offline then you can choose different ways so easiest way or so on tool way is the browser with the index db if you do uh, complicated stuff we can use pouch db or local storage uh, local storage is from the service worker not available Uh, push messages. Uh, push it, uh, messages working fine on OS X, Android, Windows, and Linux. Uh, we have two states. One state is in the foreground. If the browser is open and the Windows is open, and background is if the browser is not open. Or is open but in background. On iOS, uh, push messages is not working. Uh, Safari has a different API, or Apple has a different API, but iOS with web push is not possible this is a 
Commune app I created with uh, Das Web Concept. And it's a simple news channel. You can send out push messages from a Joomla Jum article. If you're thinking about uh, send, uh, creating push messages, you can choose different services. Here in Germany, we know about Firebase, Clever Push, and One Signal. I think worldwide you have more services. Uh, so we are GBDR ready, ready, but the One Signal you have for my information the paid account. If you send uh, push messages of your own, you can uh, choose the rapid method. This is a voluntary application server identification. It's a kind of JSON web token that you allowed uh, send out push messages to the device. If you want to make your PWA better, then you can choose different kind of APIs for the web. One is the web share API, web share target API. In this example, we see the PWA in Twitter. So we share something, the menu of the operating system or the pop-up is open from iOS and it is the same as uh, this a native app. Here is some code to do the stuff. It's navigator share. If it's supported, then print out this. And the APIs are always promise based. So you have to uh, use this technique or async await. Also, not the service worker has a uh, life cycle uh, again, or also the app. If you plan an uh, app, app is loading, loading. If you open, then the app is going in the background. The event visibility changes calling, app is closed, uh, event freeze, and app is called again. So event resume and also visibility change. So each event is triggered, and so you can influence this event. Here an example, also Twitter, app is loading. Uh, I change to the search of Twitter, close the app, open it, we have the same search tab for script and open normal tab is going on and mention and always see the mention. The same in iOS, it's working but not on iOS 12. On iOS 12 was if you're not going forward with the PWA and force quit, the uh, same window is open again. So we have to restart the phone or, or to sell or buy a new one and, and buy a new one. <clears throat> 
but on iOS 13, it's working. So manifest is also a very important part of the PWA. You define the icons, the app name, the app short name, the start URL when you open the app, which URL should be open. And the, so you can define if the mode of the browser stand alone. So you will see nothing of the browser, but make sure that you have on every page navigation links set so the so user can navigate to the next item. The mask able icon is pretty new. So Android have different operating systems. Every system make another icon, a user icon in a different way. And the mask able icon make sure that the icon looks on every device great. For this, you have a mask able app editor and this icon you add it to your manifest and define the property any mask able so manifest is always also responsible for the popping up install button uh, we will see it here on Tinder. You called uh, the website on minute at the home screen and you add it and close it and then you have it on the screen. And if you look at In the app information, then it's a normal Android app. Other way is on the Google Chrome browser uh, on the right side in the URL address bar, you see a small plus button. And if you visit a progressive web app, you can install it on the desktop browser. And this will be a way for iOS. You have to add the home screen here. You don't have a install information button. You can create a layer that you inform you what have what you have to do. For example, add to home screen. And see, here we see that the app is working on iOS. If you want a custom installation button, then you have to change the uh, before install prompt event. Um, this is the code for this. And also said for iOS, you could create a layer. Or if we are thinking about the PWA, then we always think, oh, that should be a mobile app, but it's also could a desktop app. Uber had, Uber has, uh, created a desktop app. And if you install it, you could, looking uh, on the operating system for the app, it knows it. And in the background is the Chrome engine running.
manifest shortcuts. It could be, it's very new, it's now merged. And you can call directly short URLs that you can, for example, uh, different sites of your website. It's available of on a desktop app also on a mobile phone. If you're planning or thinking about a PWA or mobile app, then it's good to add some authentication uh, possibility, OAuth or Out0 with Google, Facebook, or iCloud accounts. This makes the user easy to get in or to log in. It's the same as for the payment API. If you choose Safari, you can quick pay your, your order and you have not to go find the credit card determinants the same as with Google Pay. Back to the service worker. If you want to communicate between the service worker, or the website to the service worker, then you create a, a post message. For example, in this case, clean up cases. Then this will be inside the registration of the service worker and you catch this event with this uh, at event listener or and then you wait for the cleanup caches and in this case i will delete all caches the that's greater than 50 images and 30 pages. In the other way, if you want to communicate from service worker to the client, you call the client and you catch the event with the message event and give in this case, hello, chat 2020 to the browser. If you want to create a better uh, PWA, you can use a lot of uh, web API features as scale location, push notification, offline, online, and background sync, and the sharing API, file access, payment API, or Bluetooth API. This uh, Bluetooth API is working very well on Android. You can do some IoT stuff, for example, if an idea. And the background synch, this is for the synch if you save data in the index DB. A great overview, you see it on what we, what web can do today. This, this is a website. You can see if the browser supported. Web APK. APK. This is necessary for the Android system. And if you install a 
PWA on an Android. It's uh, PWA mutates to an Android app. So it's later not, you can not see later what is a native app or what is an Android app. Uh, now you can replace many Android apps with uh, PWAs if it's not uh, so much uh, features or special features. If you want or are thinking about it, you know, to uh, publish your app to the store, for example, App Store or the Google Play Store, uh, you have different tools to help things. That is uh, PVR Builder from Microsoft, it's free. And also for Apple, it's the Apple Configurator too. But here you have to release everything and uh, update could be very complicated. And for Android, you have more possibilities, uh, app launchers and uh, TWA uh, for Google Play Store. So TWA, it's a great article on Medium if you are interested in. So it's, you can put your PWA on Google Play Store. But if you think about, about it, the guideline must be followed uh, for the stores. Not every app can in store and you have to check if the guidelines are okay. The trend is going to so PWA. Uh, if you show or if you show uh, software and Magento, you say do a lot of uh, with PWA, and you have companies say have say offer two apps, a native app or a hybrid app and the PWA as Google Maps, Pinterest, Twitter, Airbnb, Tinder, and we have seen over a desktop first. And companies are already replacing native apps because it's easier maintained. Sometimes we have uh, no updates for the app store. It's all, it's only replacing files on the server in the easiest way. But I think native apps have, are good apps and depends all on what you will do. Here has Apple producing a PWA and they have not, not changed the manifest as well as was also a React app. So uh, also Apple has PWAs. If you find ideas for a PWA, you can look at uh, the following sites, AppScope, PVA Rocks, and find PVA. Here are really, really good examples, and Microsoft has Office running as a PWA, so you, uh, it will be more. And is it too much 
why do you not use or make your website uh, with a service worker start in a small way to cache your files and uh, make your site offline. Here are some references. If you started, uh, Google Workbox is a great library, but you find also a lot of uh, web dev uh, of Google and Maximiliano Fortman, he makes good article at Medium. And if you want to read a book, I can recommend uh, from Jeremy Keys, Going Offline, Jim Allen Hum, Progressive Web Apps, and the Alta Building Progressive Web Apps. Thank you. Uh, if you have questions or write me or DM me on Twitter. So thank you, Robert, for this great and extensive presentation about progressive web apps. Um, I'm sure uh, this is a good starting point for people learn more about it. Um, I think we will have a nearly 20 minute break now uh, until we start the next presentation. Um, in the meanwhile, you can use, uh, you can visit the jnbeyond.org website and uh, use the donate button. We will really appreciate that. Um, and until then, um, let's have a break. Yep.